Hey everybody, this is Quanta Gamer here, and I'm back with part eight of my Let's Play of Sonic Mega Collection Plus. And uh, what we're planning on doing today is I'm planning on finishing off uh, Sonic Two if I can in this part, and uh, and that will be it for that game. And then after that, I'll be moving on to Sonic Three and Knuckles in the next part. But I'll have to like uh, do something off screen in order for that to happen, which will be playing Sonic Three and Sonic and Knuckles twenty times each. But without further ado, let's uh, continue on with Sonic Two and see if we can finish this off uh, today. So let's do this. So we're in the sky chase zone for this one. We're just uh, chasing down Robotnik after we uh, after we beat him in the uh, Metropolis zone. Now these enemies can be a bit of a pain in this one, especially these guys. But they're not that bad overall. You just got to be careful with where you pick your spots. Also, I need to be careful to not collect 50, uh, too many rings here because if you go supersonic in this, uh, then you will end up. Um, Tails will struggle to catch you. Oh crap, right, okay. Oh, well, I say that and I lose all the rings, of course. I want to at least get some rings. Oh, okay, I'm surprised I destroyed that enemy there. But for those uh, wondering if I'm going to be using Tails for um, uh, Sonic and Tails for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, then don't worry, yes, I will be uh, definitely using. Uh, uh, Sonic and Tails for that playthrough. I think I'm planning on doing a another playthrough as uh, Knuckles himself as well, because I believe the story is not over uh, after you play Sonic and Tails. Oh dear. Okay, we're in a bit of a predicament. Oh, tch, Jesus. Okay. Well, at least I got a ring back. That's good. Yeah, unfortunately, this version of Sonic 2 has some horrible noises, including the Death Egg Zone itself. I really like the music for the zone. It's, it's really catchy, in my opinion. And this is when enemies are going to be a little bit more aggressive, like flying right at you, including these ones. And they're going to go up more in their numbers. I uh, didn't manage to get all of them there. That's fine though. Oh crap, now, yeah, that's what will happen if you're in the line of fire as well. I'm kind of hoping at the very least the uh, if I can get 400,000 I can get another life. From the amount of rings I'm collecting, but I think we're done with the zone. Yep, we're done. So here's the next one, Wing Fortress Zone. And Tails, unfortunately, has been shot down, so it's up to me to get to Robotnik. And even when you're playing a Sonic and Tails, um, it'll still be like this when you're just playing a Sonic by himself. Oh, and lo, lo and behold, one of the robots is uh, Scratch from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> no, honestly, that really is uh, Scratch from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And honestly, it looks like he's got a very important role here. I'm glad to see that he's got that. Oh no no! Crap! Well, that was a huge mistake. Note to self, do not play as Super yet. Especially when trying to navigate the Wing Fortress. Okay, right, I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Do not collect too many rings. Oh, I nearly forgot about that. Like, um, if you um, just, uh, just jump in the air with 50 rings or more, then you will go as super. So I need to be careful with that. So, skip all these ones. We'll try and preserve them for the boss, because by god I'll be needing those rings. Gonna wait for that platform to come by, and then jump on that, there we go. Same with this one. Oh, just made that. And then the same with these ones. These ones will be a bit easier to jump on. There we go. Okay, let's get onto this one and then let's get to safety on here. There we go. It 
It's a bit of a shame that I have to, you know, I can... Well, I mean, it's good, but at the same time, oh dear. Oh yeah, here we go, right. Now I'm super right. I need to be careful here. Really careful, because if I'm not careful, I will die. So I cannot afford to go crazy here as Supersonic. Unless... Can I jump all the way up there? If it's possible. Oh dear. See, that's what I mean. You need to be really careful. But I can. That's good. As a matter of fact, is there a checkpoint here? I think there should be one coming up. Yeah, there is. Good. That way I don't have to navigate through all those platforms again at the beginning. Alright, invincibility will do nothing considering I'm already invincible, so it's not going to make a difference. I like how, like, when you go past uh, certain uh, uh, sound effects there, the, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Were those um, boxes uh, in the air? Yes, they were. Good, I'll be needing them. Let's see if I can just skip all the level here, if I can. It looks like I can skip the level, actually. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I cheated all that. Well, this boss will be easy. This boss is a pain without Supersonic. Because uh, with Super, you can actually jump right towards this without any consequences. Right there. See, Rubonic, haha. You think you're laughing there? Well, I've got the last laugh because uh, Super is going to dominate this. There we go. Haha. <laughs> that is so satisfying. I usually struggle with that boss as, uh, when you play as uh, a Sonic normally. And they'll get that life that I lost uh, from the beginning. And the life in the cockpit is actually quite fitting, actually. I think this is going to be quite epic, seeing Sonic uh, make an entrance on the uh, to the Death Egg when he's a uh, super. At least I hope uh, you'll be able to do that. That actually looks really bizarre. Like, seeing Sonic like that. Like, uh, just normal Sonic um, posing like that. In his uh, super form. Wow, that, that looks really cool, seeing Sonic being super like that. It's such a shame that he doesn't go super in the Death Egg Zone. Now, these lives, I'm going to need them, especially along with the continues, because this zone is pretty hard. Now, it's very appropriate that Sonic's breathing in, in space when he's super, because I do know in the anime cartoons um, that I've seen, um, he does go super in, in space. So here we go, Death Egg Zone. Now, there's no rings whatsoever in this place, so you have to rely on one hit only. So here we go. The first boss is an encounter with uh, Silver Sonic, not Metal Sonic. Silver Sonic. So let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't die there. I thought I was going to die there. Oh crap, that was close. Nearly died there. Oh, there we go. Not too bad, that one. Now, this is where it gets really tough. You just have to be careful not to hit the um, the, the spines in this where Robotnik, like, outruns you. How he manages to do that, I have no idea. So, Death Egg Robot, this is his first appearance. Oh, see, you can clearly hear that. That's got a horrible, horrible sound. Do you know what I do actually hold on? I'm gonna pause here because I wanna slightly turn this down. Yes, I know that you may be thinking why are you turning it down so much because of the horrible noise, but that's that's it's really painful to the ears, that noise. That's why I'm turning it down so much. So the viewers will not get any pain from it. Now this is a bit tricky, this one, because you have to really uh, be careful not to hit um Robotnik's um the Death Egg Robots uh, spiky arms. So wait here, see if I can get another hit on him before he flies up. Yes, good. The best advice I can give for this boss, just uh, take your time on this one. Like, don't rush it too much, because if you do, you will end up dying, most likely. It'd be amazing if I can do this uh, without dying once. But I doubt that's going to happen. I'm probably going to end up dying at least once on this, or twice. The music, though, is amazing. It's pretty epic. There we 
we go. At the very least, you can hit his head as well if you uh, get lucky with that. Come on, Robonic, I'm down here. Come and get me. Again, we'll just wait here and just uh, play the waiting game. It wouldn't be very fair to this boss if I was super, honestly, because if I was super, um, I would be done with this in like five seconds. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bit of a bull claim to make by saying five seconds. Oh, oh crap. Oh, nearly forgot about that. I almost forgot about that there. I think this is the last hit coming up, as far as I know. I think there's like 11 hits. Yes, I was right. Now here comes a horrible noise. It also sounds like I've got blue screen coming up, like a blue screen of death <laughs> on the computer there. Right, now maybe I can turn this up uh, ever so slightly. There we go, that's a little bit better. Just to make sure that that, um, that was over and done with, but I can't believe I managed to do that on my first try. Honestly, I expected to struggle way much more on the Death Egg Zone, but no, that was um, actually a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So now it's time for the, the ending here. So Tails is pretty much uh, flying off to uh, save Sonic. And lo and behold, he's super all this time. That's an epic entrance there of the Exploding Death Egg, like just uh, being super. However, and this is a bit controversial what I'm about to see here, but see the Super Sonic ending. I don't really like it as much as the normal ending, where Tails like catches Sonic when he's normal, like a normal Sonic, and then the pose at the end. I'm not saying the pose at the end is not great as uh, when you play Super Sonic, but honestly, it's a lot more meaningful if you ask me with Sonic and Tails. Like it really establishes their friendship and like their their brotherhood, I guess if you call it that. But yeah, that looks pretty awesome. But honestly, I prefer the normal ending in comparison to uh, the supersonic ending. But that was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So, I have to say this part was a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, originally, I thought I was going to struggle an awful lot in this part, but I guess I didn't. Which, honestly, I'm really glad I didn't. So I guess the only thing I can say is, like, uh, what are my thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog 2 then overall? I'd say, um, is it better than Sonic 1? Yes, it is better than Sonic 1 in ma many ways. For example, like the spin dash ability, the, um, the Chaos Emerald stages being slightly improved. Even though, for me personally, if I have to choose between Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 special stages, I would have to say Sonic 1 special stage by quite a bit. I'm not really a big fan of the special stages in this game, even though I managed to get the Chaos Emeralds. But they are much more improved in the next uh, games coming up, like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which I'm going to do next, um, in the next part, um, has the Blue Sphere stages, and honestly, they are a lot better. Um, because uh, you get an opportunity to collect so many rings, plus the continues you get are from the special stages as well, uh, unlike this game, where you have to have a score of like 10,000 points or more to get um, uh, continues. Um, the music is really good as well. Honestly, I have to say, oh, speaking of which, I was talking about music in there, so the music composer's credits. <laughs> I like that tagline, like, the dream has come true um, after the copyright in 1992. That's uh, pretty awesome. But the music is very amazing, in my opinion. The only thing that I've yet to show off on this is the two-player mode, but I don't have anybody with me, obviously, because, you know, with a... Uh, you know, with everything going on with the pandemic and everything like that, there's no way I can, uh, you know, show that off. The only thing I can guess I can show off is just the sound test, and that's pretty much it. To be honest with you. There's probably some cheats as well to enter the uh, other, um, uh, you know, hidden zones, but honestly, I don't really know them off the top of my head. So... I think with that being said, everybody, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end off this part uh, a little bit early. But um, what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to show off the uh, the rest of the games that I plan on uh, showing off in the in the rest of the uh, of this let's play. Okay, guys, right, I'm back. So basically, 
uh, what I plan on doing for the rest of the um, of the the project is this. So Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles are coming up, but I'll be doing the compilation Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, and then after that, I'll uh, play games like Sonic 3D Flickers Island, uh, Sonic Spinball, I'll play for that again, and then Dr. Botnik's Mean Bean Machine. And after this, I'll do one-off um, playthroughs of each game, like the Ooze, Comic Zone, uh, and then the Game Gear games as well for Sonic. So I'll do like a uh, one-off um, uh, Let's Plays for those. And then after that, I will uh, um, do Sonic CD again, the remaster version of Sonic CD from 2011. And then I'll be progressing on to games like Sonic Adventures 1 and 2, then Sonic Heroes. And then, I don't know about Sonic 06, to be honest with you, I'm very tempted to possibly get that. But then again, I don't know, I may be wasting my time with that game, to be honest. But you never know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on and I'm going to end off this part. So... Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching uh, part 8 of Let's Play Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Uh, that was me finishing off Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and then the next time I come back, I shall be starting off Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You'll see that in the game selection screen uh, once I unlock it. So, uh, please feel free... <coughs> excuse me. Please feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below as well for your thoughts, and uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button as well for more videos coming up in the future. Uh, be, support is always greatly appreciated, everybody. So until then, this is Kleiner Game here signing off, and I shall see you again next time for more videos coming up in the future. Till then, hope you all have a good day wherever you are, and hope you stay safe, and I shall see you again next time. Till then, goodbye.